beautiful family greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel it's your brother chief sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you wherever you are happy weekends to you all family all right so family today we're back again and talking about coming back today on my channel I'm gonna share with you a whole lot of information about building and talking about building I'm talking about you know building a house especially when you want to build a beautiful house and a, you know a, 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 a beautiful palace and that, that's how I'll call this house this particular place is a palace so when you want to build a beautiful house or a beautiful palace like this beautiful uh, house that we see All right, so family, I'm going to take you a lot of teachings. When I talk about teachings, I'm going to teach you a lot today about, you know, how far we've reached. And I'm also going to, you know, teach you a lot about the reason why we install wall tiles on our walls. Most especially, these are uh, wall tiles that you see. The reason why I chose to use wall tiles on my walls instead of, you know, painting it with uh, emotion paint. So, uh, family, before I continue with this information, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notifications bell so that you always get notifications when I post new videos. Share my contents with your families and friends and then give my videos a thumbs up. So, I'm going to take you through for you to see exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you and keep watching. All right, so the building is still going on. The project is still going on. And as you can see, I have installed wall tiles on the uh, walls to the Queen's guest house, but not from inside the guest rooms, just outside the compound. That is inside the compound. So I'm talking about the walls to the compound. So as you can see, I use 30 by 60 ceramic wall tiles. To, you know to install on the walls so that um, at any time I wouldn't have to paint the house again this is one reason why I mean the main reason why I decided to use wall tiles on the walls to the compound of uh, I mean at Queen's Guest Palace and talking about Queen's Guest Palace you can see that this most beautiful place that I designed for people to sit is all you know, tiled with uh, ceramic wall tiles. So both the floors and the walls is tiled. The reason why I, I prefer the tiles is because when you use wall tiles to tile your house, I'm talking about building here in Ghana. When you use wall tiles to tile your house, there is never a day that you come back to say you are painting the house. No, there's never a day that you say, I'm gonna paint the walls. Once you install the wall tiles, that is forever. It is forever. There is never a day once again that you're going to say, I'm going to uh, paint this house, except inside the, the rooms to your house. So here, for instance, here at Queen's Guest House, though work is still ongoing, but there is never a day that I'll come back and say, I'm going to paint the walls to Queen's Guest House, except inside the rooms and i like the walls i like the wall tiles i like the ceramic wall tiles that i use here it's very nice but one thing about it is that the wall tiles is costly it's very very costly here so most people when they don't have money to buy the wall tiles to tile their walls they have to go with the paint so that's one thing and the main reason why some people don't use our wall tiles so wall tiles is very good and it's very economical. It's very good and it's very, very economical. So keep watching. And I'm also gonna take you through, especially to my new subscribers, I'm gonna take you through for you to see how we tiled the walls and the floors. So the kitchens to the walls is tiled as well as the floors. So as you can see, this is one of the guest rooms. So from the compound, this is one of the guest rooms. As you can see, this is the porch. That's the entrance to the guest room, and this is the porch. 
so as you can see it has some small porch here and then this is the kitchen so yeah this is the kitchen as you can see all the walls to the kitchen is being tiled it's been tiled with ceramic wall tiles so that's the tiles i use for the uh, for this particular kitchen so as you can see the the walls is tiled so i'm not using paint and there's never a day that i'm gonna paint the walls again the only thing is i'll just have to be cleaning it so that's the pop ceiling and this is the floor tiles to the kitchen very nice beautiful tiles i really like the color to the tiles that i've chosen it's very very beautiful very very beautiful so our work is going on and we are just doing it step by step we don't rush at all we're just doing it step by step and that is why we're having all these good results so to those of you who are my new subscribers and to some of my old subscribers who are not who were not able to watch the last video that I shared about this particular floor tiles, that's the reason why I'm sharing it again. So right now, I'm in the guest room. So that's the guest room you, you, you're watching right now. So family, tell me, how do you see it? Let me know how you see the guest house. Yeah, it's coming along very nice and very beautiful with all these nice uh, pop ceilings. That is plaster of Paris uh, ceilings. So this particular uh, space is going to be a small space for dining. So that would be a small space for dining. And this is the washroom. This is the washroom to the particular guest room that I'm in right now. So you can see the tiles we use. So this is exactly how I designed it. So over there is the shower and this side is a toilet area. So I'm going to make some small door to just separate the toilet and the shower so that's how i plan it and this is the ceiling so you see the, the floor tiles that i chose for the bathrooms very very nice floor tiles and very very nice uh, wall tiles this tiles is made in ghana all these tiles that i'm showing you is made in ghana 100% made in Ghana. I buy made in Ghana products for my guest house. I don't buy uh, imported products for my guest house. I'm talking about building materials, imported building materials for my guest house, except things that they don't make made in Ghana. I uh, make in Ghana here. All of these ceilings, it is, you know, people from Ghana who did it and people from Togo as well. So this will be a, a place for TV. So that's my TV stand that, you know, my guys use the pop ceilings to make. So you can see how big the guest rooms at Queen's Guest Palace is. It's not some kind of tidy guest rooms. These are big guest rooms. So some of the guest rooms doesn't have um, kitchens. It only has this small porch and then the bedroom and the washroom that is inside the bedroom. So this is the tiles that I choose for this particular guest room. So you can see it's a very nice floor tiles. This is 60 by 60 uh, floor tiles. That is floor ceramic tiles. So this floor ceramic tiles is 60 by 60. That's the measurements to the floor ceramic tiles. It's 60 by 60. So it's very nice tiles. You can see how it looks. So very, very nice tiles. And the guys who did the work, or the guys who are doing the work, because they are still working, they are very, very good. 
their craftsmanship is 100% on point and they are on top of their game. They are on top of their work. So now look at the particular tiles that I chose for the floors to the bathrooms in this guest room. And all the guest rooms, I made sure that I separated the bath, you know, the shower from the toilet. So this particular portion that you see over there is, will be the shower. That's where the shower will be. And then this place that you see here will be where the toilet will be. And then this particular place will be a place for hand washing basin. That is when you use the toilet and you are coming out inside the wall, like, you coming out, you know, to get into the uh, bedroom. This is where you just wash your hands. You clean your hands very well before you come out. And this is the particular task that I chose for this, uh, this bathroom. So you can see the task that I chose. All of these tiles is made in Ghana. That's a made in Ghana ceramic wall tiles. It's called Twyford. It is called Twyford. T W Y F O R D. Twyford. So that's the tiles I chose for this particular washroom to this guest room. And this is the ceiling. So from here, this is the entrance from the compound to the guest room. As you can see, that's the entrance from the compound. So from the compound, you get into the porch before you move into the guest room. And when you get in, in when you come in into the guest room, this is the washroom. So you see how simple I've designed it. Very, very simple and very, very nice. So as you can see, this is exactly what is happening here. So this is a very big washroom. Yeah, that's a very big washroom. It's big. And I use the plaster of Paris for all the ceilings. So all the ceilings is pop ceilings. All right, so family, I'm gonna take you to the other guest room for you to see the tiles. I have different types of tiles here. I didn't show this part in my last video about this project. So from here, this is the comp like this is the entrance to this guest room. From the compound, this is the entrance to this guest room. So um, I'll paint the walls here. I'll paint the walls inside the guest room. So from the compound, this is the porch to the guest room. So um, when I walk in, this is the guest room. And you can see the particular tiles that I use for this guest room. We've not even cleaned the tiles with soap and water yet, but you can see how beautiful it looks. So that alone is telling you that we did some master craftsmanship here. You can see all the waters. So the guest rooms is actually big. It's big. And I decided to use different tiles for most of the guest rooms. And some of the guest, guest rooms, I use the same tiles. So this particular bathroom to this guest room, this is the floor tiles that I've chosen. So you can all see the particular floor tiles that I chose for this washroom. Very nice design and you know, very nice tiles. So the workmanship is very good. The craftsmanship here is very, very good. Very, very neat. Everything is 100% on point. <laughs> Yeah, everything is 100% on point. This is the ceilings. All of these ceilings is plaster of Paris. And I, and I make sure that they use these metal strips to design the windows. So as you can see, this is uh, aluminum metal strips that they use because aluminum is water resistant. So I make sure they use that to design the windows. So, so far work is going on very well work is going on very very well and perfect work is going on very well and perfect we are just left with some few things to do so to those of you who are planning on coming to visit queen's guest house try to start to save your money <laughs> try to start to save your money because very soon we're gonna start business very soon business is gonna start here 
and people who wants to come and you know have experiences in northern ghana you are all welcome so this is another guest room i have 10 guest rooms here all the guest rooms here is 10 so this is another guest room and this is the entrance from the compound they are still working on this guest room they did not finish yes uh, yet they started it yesterday but um they couldn't finish it so this is the same tiles that i use here you know the, the the tiles that i use the floor tiles that i use on the other kitchen i like it so i decided to use it here so you can see the floor tiles i don't even know how to describe it it just looks so beautiful very 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 beautiful so you can see the floor tiles that i use here these are 60 by 60 floor tiles so imagine when this guys finish and i paint this room what color would you advise me to paint this room? Because I want to make sure that the colors that I paint the rooms matches with the floor tiles. So, family, tell me on the comment section, what colors do you want me to paint these guest rooms? Whew, when this guest room is finished, <laughs> it's gonna look so beautiful. Yeah, so this is the washroom to the, uh, to the guest room that I'm just talking to you about right now. So you see, this is the tiles that I use on this particular uh, guest room. So I use this same wall tiles that I use over there at the other guest room. And you know what? I just like it. So they've not put in the grout here. They've not apply, applied the grout yet. They are still working on this uh, particular uh, guest room. So they're coming back tomorrow to continue. Yeah, so this is another guest room. The guest rooms is 10, like I already told you. The guest rooms is 10. So uh, it's almost, you know, getting uh, dark here because it's almost 6 o'clock here. So I wouldn't be able to take you through all, you know, the guest rooms. I wouldn't be able to do a tour to all the guest rooms. But I'm just going to take you through a little bit. I'm just going to take you through a little bit for you to see everything with your naked eyes. So you see how creative I am and how creative my man is. That is, you know, my tiles. They make sure that the same floor tiles that they use for here is the same uh, floor tiles that they use to design the door to the bathroom in this washroom, uh, guest, guest room. So uh, my... My um, mercy will come and, you know, work on these places that the tiles chiseled before they put on the waters. So um, that is exactly what we're doing here. We don't do no shoddy job here. And we don't rush at all. You see, one thing about building is that when you are doing building, like when you are building a house, you don't have to rush. When you rush, there will be so many problems in the future. The house will have so many problems in the future and you the builder or your children or your family will bear the cost when the time comes so uh, family i'm advising you when you are choosing wall tiles choose the best wall tiles when you are choosing floor tiles choose the best floor tiles when you are choosing building materials choose the best building materials choose the best men who can do the job for you so as you can see this is the kitchen to this particular uh, guest room that i just showed you and everything is intact everything is very very well and very very neat these guys are on top of their job they are on top of their job <laughs> and i respect them and i thank them so much for this wonderful job that these guys has done for me i appreciate them and i love them so much for everything that they did for me here they did not do any kind of shoddy job here they did a very nice and professional job you can see how they finish up the the guest rooms some of the guest rooms they just kill it yeah they kill it i really like it though we've not even cleaned the floors the floor tiles yet but you can all see how it is so these are their items and some of the materials there that's some of their working gears and then uh, some of the tiles over there at the dining space. So we are working. Work is going on non-stop.
We are having non-stop progress here. So these are some of the the, the washrooms. This are uh, sorry. So these are some of the guest rooms. This particular guest room, we are going to start working on it. But I'm waiting for my pop ceiling man, my professional pop, you know, uh, ceiling man. That's the guy who did all of these nine ceilings to come over and then put on the ceiling stand on the wall. I want him to come and install to mold the TV stand on the wall just like the other ones before the tilers will move in here. They didn't do it because it was having a crack and my medicine just came over and fixed it. So as you can see, that's how my medicine fixed it. You see all the spaces that you see there. He chiseled it and he put some metals there and then he dressed the wall very nice. So the guy will come over and then, you know, work on the TV stand by using the plaster of Paris cement before we tile this uh, particular guest room and then fix the window. So, so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, it's all about progress and all about showing you, you know, how we're doing. So all these nice um, guest rooms that I'm showing you, this was how it, this is how it was. This is how it was before you see it to be beautiful like that. So that tells you that my men are on top of their job. They are on top of what they're doing. All right, so family, I'm in another guest room. And you know what? I use these tiles so much here because I love it. So these tiles can be used for both interior and exterior walls. So this is a washroom to one of the guest rooms that I'm just showing you right now. And I use these tiles for the front view of the guest house. That's to the wall of the front uh, of the guest house. And then I use it on the reception room office. That's the reception office. And I also use it in this particular washroom so as you can see this is how the washroom is this washroom is not all that big but it's big enough or i might say it's bigger than some people's washrooms so you see how i separate all of them this is the side for the uh, shower and then this will be the side for the toilet and it has all got drainages so this is the drainage for the toilet and then this is a drainage for the shower that's a drainage for the shower over there so you can see i make sure that all the tiles that i chose matches you know the both the floor tiles that i chose and then the wall tiles that i chose matches very well so this will be a, a place for the hand washing basin and then this will be a urinal pot this will be a place for urinal pots so i will be having urinal pots here in the wash in some of the washrooms almost all the washrooms will be having urinal pots for men so that is queen's guest palace for you and this is the tiles this is the particular tiles that i decided to choose for this uh guest room so you see the tiles that i choose that's the tiles that i want a floor tiles that i chose for this guest room i make sure that all the tiles that i choose is top quality and it's made in Ghana. You know what? We have to promote black owned businesses and we have to promote our brothers and sisters' businesses so that they can also grow very well. So they are still working on this particular guest room. You can see the dining hall. So all of these places, we've not even cleaned it with water yet. You know, when these tilers finish their job and everything, we have to come with water to clean it. But we have to make sure that they finish the painting before we do that else will be having problem when the painters come. You see, we will tell them that they are messing up our place. No, they are not messing it. We are rather messing it because we have to wait until they finish the painting before we do the cleaning. So that is, you know, how it goes. That is exactly how we do it here at Queen's Guest Palace. <laughs> very, very beautiful. 
Look, each and everyone who will visit Queen's Guest Palace will feel like they are in heaven. <laughs> they will feel like they are in heaven because they will have everything they need here. They will have everything they need here. We have plants, we have abundance of water, we have, you know, Queen's Guest Palace looks like somewhere in nature. When we finish this particular project and, you know, it starts to work, soon it will start to work. This place, when you enter here, it looks like somewhere in nature. You know, plants gives a lot of life, you understand? Plants makes life good and, you know, happy. Each and everyone who have plants, match plants at their homes, they have happiness. Because you know what? It provides them with some energies. All right, so family, I think today, this is what I have to share with you about Queen's Guest Palace. Hopefully, sometime within this coming week, I'll make sure that I take you through some tour again so that I'll keep you updated, most especially to some people who are planning on coming here. You see all these natural clay pots. These are all natural terracotta uh, pots. That is clay pots. That is made here in Ghana by our women. So you can see it goes very well with the plants. Yeah, so I'm just doing all of this, you know, to remind you and to show you some more updates about, you know, what is going on at Queen's Guest Palace. Everything is coming along very neat and very well. No wahala. <laughs> and the plants is also surviving like magic. Look at these plants. I planted only one. Now look at it, the mother-in-law tank. Look at how it has grown. Look at how it has produced. I planted just only one like this. Just only one. But now look at it. Because you know what? I know how to take good care of plants. And my ha I have some green thumbs. If you don't know, that's one secret about these plants. I have green thumbs and I take good care of it. So it multiplies all the time. It grows like there's some magic in it. So our uh, family, that is what we're doing so far. So far, no complaints. So far, so good. So far, so beautiful. So the first part of the video that I showed you is the front view to the guest house. So I'm going to take you through a little bit again. And look at our lemongrass. Look at how it has grown. Look at the lemongrass. You see? So all the plants is surviving. And just look at the cactus. The cactus has started to, you know, produce some more branches. So you can see. So everything is coming along very well and very neat. The reason why you see the plants to be dusty is because we are in the Hamatan season and during the Hamatan season it's very dusty here. So when the rains comes, it's going to wash all of the, all the plants and it will be very neat again. So family, that's how it is. That's what we're doing here. Alright, so this is the tiles that I use that I'm talking about. You can all see it. So um, that's the front view to the guest palace. So all of these places, the guys will come over and, you know, finish it sometime tomorrow, Monday. They're going to come and finish all of it. These days, I've been very, 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 very busy. I'm super busy these days. And that's why I don't get time to show you all of this progress that we're making here. Yeah, you know, as I, I became a chief, my responsibilities has also been added. So now I have a whole bunch of responsibilities. All right, so this, this that's the front view to the guest house, as you can all see. So work is going on. Work is going on very, very well. All of these places will be tiled. Yeah, because you know what? I like beautiful things. And when I decide to use tiles, I know the reason why I'm using it. So, so far, that's what we're doing. So you see, I'm not going to paint those walls again. I'm not going to paint them again. Because you know what? The work is beautiful. And when the work is finished, we're going to clean all the, you know, the, the front view. We're going to clean everything here. Yeah, so when the work is finished, we're going to clean all of these places. We're going to clean it and it will look very neat. So you see how the tiles has matched with the Sankofa design pillars. You see how the, the, the wall tiles, the ceramic wall tiles has, you know, matched it. It matches it very, very well. And now it is even making the Sankofa design pillars to even appear more nicer. 
and all of this will be painted with white and gold all of these metal designs will be paint i will paint them with white and then gold so family that is what is going on here if you want beauty come to queen's guest palace if you want to see the real beauty of building come to queen's guest palace that's this where this is where you see all the beautiful things you know about building and the plants so we have everything we have very good plans for the project and we also have you know everything we have almost everything here so that is it we are working we are working very very well all right family i think I've, I've showed you so much and I've shared so much information with you about the tiles and I've also taught you a lot about building you know I, I make you know that when you want to build your house